There are several ways to add objects. The first is to simply grab the object that you want and drag it onto the, the 3D view. Um, the second method is to go and select in this tree and tick which, which items you want added. If you've got multiple items added each time you click on the screen, um, you'll get it'll cycle through those items and just add one of each so you can quickly add a number of them. You can see they're different sizes, different shapes that's the built-in randomness that, that is with each tree I'll explore that a little bit more in a moment um, the next tool along is a line tool and you notice that jumping around with all the randomness there each time you move the mouse it's um, it, it's recalculating that randomness and putting it in. The separation allows you to move the trees apart further if you wish. Um, so you can do a whole line of them. And um, then the next um, tool along is the draw tool uh, which simply just plants as you move your mouse around whilst holding the mouse button down. Um, so it's all fairly easy. You can select whatever objects you like. You can scroll through here and just drag an item down. Um, and um, then we've got the, the lasso, um, which allows you to plant. At the moment I've got the, the density at 100. Crank that up and it'll become more dense. We've got the min separation here. Um, which is stopping the trees from being too close to each other. If I turn that off now and, and do another pull you can see that's a lot closer. If I switch that back on and was to go over the same area multiple times you'll see that it's no longer adding trees because we filled it in as much as it should be. Um, the, um, the terrain only flag means that it will only go on the train, not on the road. Uh, I've switched that off now, so you'll see trees being planted there. Um, I'll just demonstrate the, the grass and the drawing. The separation here is good. You can lower it down and then just draw the grass in as you wish. Um, so that's fairly useful. And then the last thing I'll demonstrate is the randomness. I'll just need to widen the window a little so you can see all the settings. Um, we'll select just one tree so that it's um, the same each time and we'll do the, the line of them so you can see what's happening here. Um, if you do choose to override it by default there's um, two rows of four numbers here which affect the scale. That's the minimum scale across the top and the maximum scale across the bottom. So um, let's just set everything else to naught so that we get a perfect set of trees. That's a separation of 0.5 which is too heavy. Let's just turn it down. Um, and you can see all those trees are exactly the same size, same shape. Um, if we change the scale of the randomness in just the, the Y direction. Um, that affects height, um, so we can change that to say 400%, and so that multiplies the default value by up to 4, so that it can produce very tall trees. If you wanted them all at 400%, or, or say between 3 times and 4 times, then they're all going to be tallish but still with some randomness in there um, or for a perfect set of tall trees all fours and they're going to be perfectly aligned the yaw is the other the, the pitch, the roll pitch and yaw amounts you can move um, I wouldn't do it too much with the trees if you, you, you do it too much with the roll and the pitch they start getting a bit wonky you'll see them bending over and the last one, if you want an object to be able to rotate fully plus or minus 180 degrees, 
um, then that allows it, them to rotate as well. I'll just move all these back. Uh, we'll move up the hill a bit and add another row in here. Maybe just do it one metre apart so you can see the effect a bit better. So um, they're all the same height, all the same width, but they'll be rotated a little bit differently to each other. You can see the crosses there. It's probably easier to see if I do it here. Um, the one last setting that you've got there is plantable depth. What I've noticed some people do to get a height um, variety in their trees even though they're using the same texture is to change the, the plantable depth which means the tree will be buried into the ground somewhat. I'll allow it to go up to two meters. Um, probably wouldn't do that with this tree because a lot of them will go underground. But you can see um, the effect there is that a lot of it's sitting under there and you get this bush effect rather than a tree that looks more like a bush. Um, so that can be useful too. Um, you can of course move all these objects around, I'll show that in more detail in a, another tutorial.